it's so easy for this reality to melt away and there's something on the other side. I remember just feeling like, wow, this reality is so much more, not as tangible as I thought, not as solid. I had lost a uh, career that was really meaningful, working in a kitchen, which I really didn't want to do, making horrible money, just feeling really stuck and depressed in life. With the pandemic, like I ended up losing that job in the kitchen and was kind of like lost in life and thinking like, what am I gonna do now? Like, what's the point? My life was just turning out different than I thought. I was really just kind of reaching for something to pull me out of that, I guess. The first kind of life that was shown to me, it was like hundreds of years ago. I just remember like feeling kind of like I was blasting off into space <laughs> in a sense. And that just kind of lifted me off into this whole otherworldly experience. I had like music on and that really like carried me through this whole experience. I was 10 to 12 years old living around the area of the Humber River. I also had this like psychic sense and I knew what was gonna happen and that that whole area was gonna be destroyed and what it would turn into and like the sadness and grief that would come with that, this whole life being destroyed. That made me clue into like, there's, there's past history that I have in this city that is making sense. It like kind of woke me up to the idea that like I'm there's more to me than this life and it made me realize that I'm not so stuck in my current lifetime and there's much more to me and that it was just such a small part of who I am. The final kind of lifetime that I was shown this was like the biggest transformative experience for me. I went way, way back before all these human lives that I've caught glimpses of during this trip. And I saw glimpses of a life on another planet, dimension, something like that. And I experienced the feeling of being, I guess, in another dimension like being outside of this 3D reality where everything's so heavy and we're so focused on our survival and just all the little things that weigh on you that you don't really, you take for granted. It's like everything's taken care of and you can just be. There's something much bigger, another reality, you know? And I could sense like, that's my home. That's my real home. That's where I, my soul originated from, and that's where I'll go back to. That feeling of freedom and not constantly having to worry and just being free to be completely who you are on a soul level, you know? I saw glimpses of this life I had on whatever you want to call it, another planet, I guess, where I was part of this family. It was the middle of the night, and I... I remember being aware like my whole family was sleeping, my family of these other beings. I, I was married to someone else and I had two small children. And yeah, it was the middle of the night and I got this call, kind of like a telepathic call from someone. We need people for this mission. So this portal opened up and I saw the earth through it. And it was like I had this calling to go to Earth and just like be part of the evolution of the planet. Like I understand my grief now, I understand more of my history. It really took me out of this feeling of being stuck and not having a purpose because I had always had the idea that I had to have some grand mission in life and I had to do something amazing with my career and change the world and that really wasn't coming to fruition for me in life. I didn't really know where I was going and I hadn't made any profound difference on the world but this trip kind of made me realize like it's more about my presence and my consciousness and even if I don't make any like discernible huge impact like I'm still making an impact just by being here and being part of this process.